In the news this morning, an overnight shooting sends two to the hospital and the suspect is still on the loose. Plus, the Huskers are getting ready to take the field this morning after traveling to Indiana. We've got a full Husker preview coming up. And we have six things to do for you today, all part of WOWT 6 News Daybreak Weekend for Saturday, October 15th. From your home for news, this is WOWT 6 News Daybreak Weekend. Good morning and thank you very much for joining us on a Saturday morning. I'm Bradley Showright. Josh Spider has the weekend off. Joining me this morning as well is Chief Meteorologist Rusty Lord. We're waking up to some fairly comfortable temperatures. Overall, pretty cloudy day yesterday. Yeah. Will we get a break from any of those clouds today? They're going to be really tough to shake once again today, but a warmer start in the morning means a slightly warmer afternoon than what we had yesterday. We're in the 60s right now. 68 in Millard and Omaha, 65 in Elkhorn, 67 in Bennington at the moment. So we'll turn those upper 60s into some low 70s, but not much movement and we're stuck under the clouds the majority of the day. We'll look and see if anything better for Sunday's on the way coming up. Thank you, Rusty. Well, our top story this morning, we are following some local breaking news from overnight. Two people were shot just after 2 a.m. at 76th and Crown Point. One victim was shot in the arm, the other in the leg. Both were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. We are told that one of the victims may be a security guard working an event in the area. Authorities are still working to find a suspect this morning. We will, of course, continue to follow this story as it develops. New this morning on a, a man shot rather outside of an Omaha bank Friday evening remains in the hospital in stable condition while the suspect is still on the loose. The victim who has not been positively identified was shot in the parking lot of North 90th and Maple Streets by the American National Bank just before 6 p.m. on Friday night. The shooting, however, was not related to the bank itself. Anyone with information about the shooting is asked to call Omaha Crime Stoppers at 444-STOP. Well, growing reports of mass shootings hasn't been lost on Nebraska Medicine, who held a drill to prepare for such a possibility. Hundreds of doctors, nurses, and staff gathered inside the Doubletree Hotel. On the screens were scenarios showcasing the real-life struggles that could one day be on our doorstep. Citing the 2007 Von Marsh shooting that left nine people dead, trauma program coordinator Ashley Emanuel says Nebraskans need to be prepared as we are not isolated here and we're not alone here in Omaha. Well, in big red news, the Huskers are ready to rumble this morning with a 5-0 record. WOWT Sports Director Russ Jernstrom is breaking down what the Huskers need to do to keep that undefeated record intact. Russ joins us now from Indiana. Hello from Memorial Stadium in Bloomington, Indiana, where the ninth ranked Huskers will put their undefeated record on the line on Saturday against the Hoosiers. Indiana head coach Kevin Wilson enters his sixth season at the school, but he has never played against Nebraska. We've not faced these guys, but you see them from afar. Probably don't know them as well as like you know Ohio State, but there's some similar offensively with line play, running game, a great quarterback that can make a lot of plays and speed in the perimeter. Defensively, they're playing solid, about 160 and 170 passing, or 190 passing, something about 356 yards a game. Uh, you know, playing, they're not giving up big plays or making you snap it again. Two weeks ago at Memorial Stadium in Bloomington, Indiana upset 17th ranked Michigan State 24 to 21 in overtime. The Hoosiers hope their fans turn out on homecoming for another upset. Our team's getting better. Our fans were awesome last time. I'd love a bigger crack, pack it up. Fill that arena, get it loud, and, and go the distance because it's got a chance, if we play well, to maybe be a fourth quarter game again. So a great opponent, great challenge. We just got to get better. Memorial Stadium behind me holds 52,000 fans. The game is not a sellout, but the Hoosiers are confident they can pull off another upset on homecoming. From Bloomington, Indiana, with Mike McKnight, I'm Ross Jernstrom, WOWT6 Sports. Now the Husker game will be televised nationally on ABC and ESPN2. Kickoff is scheduled for 2.30. Looking ahead, our state versus Anthony Garcia coverage continues on Monday. The prosecution is expected to continue its work to link a white pages search for murder victim Roger Brumbach and Creighton pathology professor Chandra Butra to Garcia's media devices. Now the search around the same time as Brumbach's murder 
We've been taking you inside the courthouse rather each day for continuing coverage. For the latest, you can head over to our website at WOWT.com or follow our reporter Aaron Murray on Twitter for up to minute coverage. Everyone still seems to be talking about the big country surprise at Field Club Elementary. After hearing students were unable to attend his concert, country superstar Brad Paisley surprised students with their own private concert. Paisley called it his first ever country nation grade school tour. Pulling weeds, picking up trash, and serving lunch for assisted living residents may not be a normal fall break schedule, but that's exactly what hundreds of UNO volunteers are doing this morning. Our very own Chase Moffitt joins us now live with more. Good morning, Chase. Good morning, Josh. Hey, good morning, Josh. That's right. We're here on the UNO that UNO is the first time in 12 years to be here in the mission here during fall breaks. We're going to take fall breaks. Some taking the break, bring that some. We're going to have time to get you to talk about more about this program. We're going to have to talk about this program. Unfortunately, as you can tell, we are having some audio problems with Chase, so we're going to go ahead and go into a break and come back to him if we can. Still ahead in this live broadcast, find out how local Walmart centers are offering free health check, health checkups today, rather, in newly named Walmart Wellness Day. Yesterday, it was really tough to shake those clouds, and it looks like we have more of the same on the way today, although a little bit warmer to go along with. We'll talk about it coming up after the break. This is WOWT 6 News. Daybreak weekend. Stair step cracks in your brick, cracks in your sheetrock, or you may even have gaps appearing around doors and windows. Foundation damage could be present. Call for a free on site evaluation today or visit us on the web for more information. Placed her hand on the Bible, swore to defend against all enemies, promised to tell the truth, and lied about her finances, lied about sniper fire in Bosnia, lied about Benghazi, lied about the Clinton Foundation, lied about her private server, lied about her emails. So when Hillary Clinton says she will preserve, protect, and defend the United States, why would we believe her? I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. I set the thermostat so my house would be warm when I got home from work. But the kitchen is still cool. At Donovan Brothers Heating and Cooling, we stand behind every Linux system we sell. My dealer said he'd take care of everything. At Donovan Brothers Heating and Cooling, we understand everyone wants prompt professional service. Turns out it wasn't my furnace after all. Just a little something blocking the vent. Pretty smart dog if you ask me. For service you can count on, call Donovan Brothers Heating and Cooling. Get up to $1,600 in rebates plus financing. Looking for professional tree care? Call Terry Hughes Tree Service, Nebraska's first nationally accredited tree care company and voted best of Omaha. For trusted tree care, call Terry Hughes Tree Service, 402-558-8198 or visit HughesTree.com. Do you have a basement that's constantly wet, damp, and unusable? Call Ramjack today and restore your basement back to dry, healthy space. Ramjack provides affordable and permanent waterproofing solutions. Call for your free on-site evaluation today. Get Mike McKnight and the Six on Your Side investigative team on your side. Today's weather brought to you locally by Toyota. Thank you. There's only one place to find out. Go to your local Toyota dealer, test drive one today, and see for yourself. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome back, everyone. See the picture we have right here? We had this yesterday and it's going to be that uh, struggle again today to try to burn through these clouds. Luckily, we haven't seen much in the way of fog develop, so you don't have that to worry about heading out the door this morning. But cloudy skies, 68 degrees, so it is a warmer start. It actually uh, warmed up during the overnight hours because the south wind drug in some warmer air than it is still at 10 miles per hour. So a warmer start will translate into a slightly warmer afternoon, but the clouds likely to keep things somewhat cool pretty much all day. Tough to see, they're a little thicker in spots, but we just have this layer of low and mid-level clouds that are hanging on. No drizzle yet underneath these, but we are expecting some patchy drizzle to form every now and then here 
over the next still oh, eight to 10 hours. So keep that in mind. 68 in Omaha, 65 in Fremont, 63 in Columbus at the moment, while it's 67 in Plattsmouth. Uh, visibility, like I mentioned, not much in the way of fog trying to form, although Atlantic's dropped a little bit and Norfolk's dropped a little bit. So we'll have to see if this is something that develops slowly through the morning. South wind 5 to 15 miles per hour in most spots should be rather persistent during the day. So there's the blanket of gray and you can see just little specks of green trying to show up on the map. They don't really have a rhyme or reason to where they're moving. That tells me that it's drizzle, maybe a little bit of patchy fog that's trying to develop. That's noon. We're still in the upper 60s. Then during the afternoon, you can see the west edge of the clouds. Norfolk, Columbus, York, overall you get a little better day than the rest of us. You get some sunshine, you get some low 70s. And this front tries to move through, but emphasis on try, and that's why we just can't really shake the clouds in the metro. We get into the low 70s, but that's about it. Some patchy drizzle still possible uh, in many locations in western Iowa through 6 o'clock. But notice still the clouds hanging around. A little bit of late day clearing. There's going to be some pockets where we get a little bit of sunshine sneaking through late in the afternoon, but it's too little too late. And temperatures by 9, 10 o'clock still in the 60s. Could have a little bit of patchy fog heading into tomorrow morning. Notice 58 to start the day. It'll be a lot better tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies, 79 for the high on Sunday. 83 on Monday. Warm, warm October air, considering we should be in the 60s this time of year. We'll keep that warmth around Tuesday. A slight chance of rain on Wednesday with uh, numbers in the 60s, but overall a very dry 10-day forecast. Not expecting much out of that system on Wednesday either, the way it looks now. So unless something changes drastically, we just won't have a lot of rain and maybe get a lot of work done outside, get the yard re yeah. ready before winter rolls in and no signs of snow or any winter yet either. Thankfully for that, yeah. yeah I know a lot of people are asking about it, so we don't have to worry about it yet. Now, obviously a little bit warmer this weekend. Mm -hmm. Is the cloud coverage the reason for that? Uh, no, actually we'd, uh, we'd be in the upper 70s, low 80s because of that. It's just there's a lot of moisture hanging in the air. It's just not going to turn into anything but drizzle, unfortunately. All drizzle right. and clouds. Yeah, drizzle and clouds. Thank you very much, you Rusty. Bet. Well, coming up in our next half hour, our next break, after our next break, rather, consumer headlines. In the wake of Samsung's phone recall, we'll tell you why some U.S. airlines are adding new fireproof bags to their fleets. This is WOWT 6 News Daybreak Weekend. become standard on the Toyota Corolla, which is probably why we've received such high safety ratings. Then consider that the Corolla is thoroughly tested to ensure quality so you know it's built to last. It's no wonder 90% of all Toyota Corollas sold in the last 10 years are still on the road today. Tested, trusted Toyota. Lease a new 2016 Corolla for $129 a month or get $1,500 customer cash on Corolla. Find yours at buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. This November, it's a matter of life and death. I want to educate the people about the death penalty. I just want people to really um, think about what they're voting for this fall. What will Nebraska voters decide about the future of the death penalty? This is the first time we've really had this conversation in Nebraska from a voter perspective. A WOWT 6 News Half Hour Special. Brian Mastry reports on what's at stake this election day. Nebraska's death penalty, dead or alive, Tuesday at 6.30. Does your home or business have storm damage? McGinnis Roofing works directly with you and your insurance company to get the repairs done right using high quality materials and professional installation. Call the experts McGinnis Roofing for your free storm damage inspection. Gridlock in Washington is putting our country at risk. Defending America should never be a partisan issue. That's exactly why we need Brad Ashford in Congress. Brad stood up to the Obama administration opposing closing Gitmo. As a former prosecutor, I know we can trust Brad to keep Nebraska safe. And Brad's working with both parties to destroy ISIS. Thank you, Brad, for keeping our kids safe. I'm Brad Ashford, and I approve this message because keeping our country safe must be our top priority. Thank you, Brad. Does your home or business have storm damage? McGinnis Roofing works directly with you and your insurance company to get the repairs done right using high quality materials and professional installation. Call the experts McGinnis Roofing for your free storm damage inspection. And good morning. You are looking at the Missouri River from our first National Bank camera. Like Rusty just mentioned after, before our break, going to be another cloudy day here in the metro so prepare for that could see a few drizzles as well 
Now it's time to check out what's happening locally today. It's the final day for the farmer's market in Omaha's Old Market. It will run this morning from 8 to 1230 this afternoon. Make sure you head out for that. You do not want to miss that. Plus, today is also Walmart Wellness Day. You can head over to your local Walmart for a health update. We'll have more on that in just a moment as we take a look at this morning's consumer headlines. But remember, you can always find out what's coming up today by going to the WOWT community calendar on our website. We'll bring you four more things to do coming up a bit later in this broadcast. Well, have you ever wondered about cats and their many colors? The Nebraska Humane Society's Pam Weiss is filling us in. All cat lovers know cats come in a variety of colors and patterns. But did you know it's not unusual to find a variety of colors and patterns in the same litter of kittens? According to the International Cat Association, there are two primary colors in cats. Black, like Gracie, and red, like MacGyver. All other colors, including brown, blue, silver, lilac, fawn, and cream, are variations of black and red except solid white. White is a masking gene that hides colors. Confused? Yeah, me too. Let's move on to patterns. All cat colors are also seen with different markings called patterns. Cats that are one color, don't have any stripes, are solids. So Henry is a solid gray, known as a blue cat. Tabbies are cats with stripes or tabby markings, like Buddy. Those markings have four different patterns. Torties and Torbies, which are usually females and are a mixture of both black and red or their variations. Pointed have points of color on the face, feet, and tail. Those points can be solid or tabby. With whites, any of the above with white added. So Whiskers is black and white, often called the tuxedo cat. And predominantly white cats with patches of two other colors are called calicos or dilute calicos. One more tip, it's not color and pattern that determine a cat's breed. That's established by their physical characteristics. So you could have a brown tabby Himalayan or a tortoiseshell Persian. You can find cats of all color, pattern, and variation here at the Nebraska Humane Society. And right now, because we have so many cats, we've got a great deal for you. All of our adult cats, six months and up, are fee-waived adoptions. That means they're free. And kittens are $75 and two for one. That means you can get a great spayed or neutered, microchipped cat that's got all of its first shots virtually free. What a great deal for great cats, right Roxanne? For the Nebraska Humane Society, I'm Pam Weiss. And the Nebraska Humane Society is always open. Make sure you head over there. They're located at 8929 Fort Street. Today and tomorrow it's open from 10 until 5, Monday through Friday from 9 until 7. You can always look up animals and find information at nehumanesociety.org. Moving now to consumer headlines this morning. Today, Walmart is offering free health checkups at more than 4,600 of its stores nationwide after a huge turnout during last year's event. The newly named Walmart Wellness Day is taking place today from noon to 4 p.m. local time where customers can receive free blood pressure, glucose and vision screenings also available along with product samples and information on health insurance options. Now, licensed pharmacists will be on hand to provide immunizations, such as flu shots, in all Walmart pharmacies in the U.S. Walmart says last year it conducted nearly 52,000 immunizations, more than 280,000 screenings, and detected more than 7,000 cases of high blood pressure. Also today, Nationwide's Make Safe Happen program is holding its first ever home fire drill day in hopes that you and your family practice your fire escape plan. Families can visit the website homefiredrillday.com to learn more on how to make a fire escape plan. Then practice that drill today. That's the most important thing. New survey data from Nationwide Insurance finds only one in five parents regularly practice fire escape plans at home and only 55% of parents say their children know exactly what to do in the event of a fire at home. And speaking of fire, some U.S. airlines are now adding new fireproof bags to their fleets in case a cell phone or laptop battery overheats or catches on fire and can't be extinguished. This all in the wake of Samsung's phone recall. Now, according to the Associati Associated Press, Alaska Airlines was the first U.S. airline to install the bags across the whole fleet. It's had them on board planes since May, well before the recall of Galaxy Note 7. The bags can withstand temperatures of up to 3,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Virgin America says that it was purchased by Alaska in April and has the bags on all of its planes as well. 
Delta says all of its aircrafts will eventually have the bags, with first priority going to jumbo jets flying trans transatlantic and transpacific routes. Now United, Southwest, American, and JetBlue all hold the AP, all told the AP rather that there's no immediate plans to add fire contaminant bags to their air aircrafts. Well, coming up in just two minutes, highlights from all of last night's biggest high school football games as we recap our Friday night fever. Go fill up your coffee mugs now and join us once again for your morning sports after these messages. At Village Inn, a good meal is about more than just how it tastes. It's about how it makes you feel. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. A best-selling vehicle for less than a competition? Honda's got it. 2016 CRVs, the best compact SUV for families. On sale with 0.9% financing for 60 months. A KBB Best Family Car and Best Buy for less than a competition. Plus, save thousands with 0.9% financing for 60 months. Honda's got it. With number one selling CRVs on sale this week at your Omaha area Honda dealers. Shop like a pro at Bass Pro Shops with trophy deals throughout the store. Like a Range Max storage can for under $650. This Plano Protector bow case for only $25. And this Redhead all-season camo jacket for under $45. Mike Ronstall really wants you to think he's an average guy. Maybe he does mow his own lawn. But Mike Ronstall has also taken more than $3 million from special interests. Voted to spend nearly $600,000 on free trolley service for Des Moines lobbyists. Wanted to give driver's licenses to people in this country illegally. Put over a billion dollars in new debt on Iowa taxpayers. And supported a massive job-killing tax hike. That Mike Grunstall, he has not changed a bit. She's right. This is who he was all along. The 2016 Creighton Volleyball season is in full swing. Don't miss the action, the thrills, and the spirit that is Creighton Volleyball at DJ Sokol Arena. Tickets are on sale now at GoCreighton.com. Come into Village Inn and enjoy a meal that beams with goodness. Try our new hearty hashes, including chicken bacon avocado, steak tip, and corned beef. There's only one place to get them, at Village Inn. Keep on the sunny side of life. Now, scores and highlights from under the front lights. This is Friday Night Fever, brought to you by Kelly's Carpet Omaha. Hi, everybody. Friday Night Fever means crunch time for the playoff hopefuls. We begin with our game of the week. Carney and Creighton Prep fighting for seeding in the postseason. 21 all at the half. Cannon Coster to Brett Obermiller, long catch, touchdown, 28-21. A.J. guides Joey Hagee on a touchdown pass, 28 all, tying the game up. Hubner again to Drew Dunham, Prep's first lead of the game, 35-28. And it's tied again. Hubner to Thomas Corpuz, sixth touchdown pass of the night. Carney ties it again. To the ground goes Prep. They break through 49-42. A pass break up on fourth and eight. Carney can't convert, and Prep wins it. The final 49 to 42 over Carney. Up next, number one Omaha North hosting Millard South. The Vikings waste no time getting on the board. First North offensive snap of the game. Milton Sarbaugh is gone. 48 yards to pay dirt. The Vikings go up 7-0. Next North possession. Justin Jackson Williams tosses it to Zion Williams in the flat. And the senior does the rest, breaking a tackle and soaring into the end zone from 34 yards out. Vikings led 14-0 halfway through the first quarter. More north as we move to the second quarter. Check out the determination here. Larry Bell gets the rock and breaks one, two, three, four tackles at the line of scrimmage before breaking loose. 58 yards for the score. Vikings up by 27. Number one, Omaha North rolls in this one. 47 to nothing. Now we go to Seaman Stadium, number four, Millard West. 
and Omaha Central battling. Millard West on the halfback give, or does the quarterback have it? Giovanni Guido makes your head spin, 35 yards for the score. Wildcats find themselves driving again, looking for Austin Harris. But Tyrick Parham intercepts the connection. The Eagles will get three off the turnover. Then on the kickoff, Brody Belt, talk about acceleration, leaves everybody behind, takes it all away for six points. The Wildcat sees Central's field goal and raises by 45, all in. Down in the capital city, number five, Burke visiting Lincoln North Star. Senior night for the home team. And the Navigators opening possession, Cody Schweitzer, quick pass to Braden Day. He makes a move and picks up a nice gain, but the drive would stall. North Star with the ball later on. Nick Heinrich, or Henrik rather, in the backfield. Where are you going? Nowhere. Number 42 with the sack. And Burke stuffs North Star. The final score, 32 to nothing. But the Star City comes back east. Number seven, Lincoln Southeast at Omaha South. First quarter, Knights driving on their opening possession. Kip Hergenrader punches in the touchdown from five yards out. You'll see more of him later. Southeast takes a 7-0 lead later in the first. Lincoln Southeast taking to the air. John Pay Gergen launches it to Nate Trahale. He runs under it, comes up with a catch, good for 37 yards. Later in the drive, Hergen Raider runs in for another score. This time from nine yards out, the Knights would go for two and fail to convert. Southeast proves to be a rude guest, shutting out South 49 to nothing. Be sure to check out tonight's highlights on the WOWT6 News app. They're being loaded as we speak and being posted to WOWT.com as well. The scores are all there for you right now. Top five matchup in Class B, Elkhorn at Gretna. 10-3 Elkhorn at the half. Cortland Frankie with his second successful kick to open the second half. 13-3 Gretna. Ensuing possession, Elkhorn's punter can handle a low snap. That sets up Gretna with great field position. Grant Bruner, the fullback, runs a little seam route. Takes a well-thrown pass to extend the lead. Elkhorn able to punt it away this time, but would not get a better result on defense. Bruner again taking the pitch, powering it in for a 27-3 Dragons lead as the third quarter is dominated by Gretna. They knock off number three, Elkhorn, 27-9. Now to Elkhorn, the number one Storm with a spotless record, hosting Mount Michael Benedictine. Quarterback Sid DeMeo throws a lateral, then a strike downfield to Ryan Riddle for the quick touchdown, 7-0 Mount Michael. Elkhorn South's Moses Bryant takes the handoff in the red zone, gets through the defense for six points to tie the game up at 7-7. Elkhorn South sticks with what keeps working. Bryant scores from close range to open the second quarter and get the storm back on track. Elkhorn South will keep on rolling too, 42-13 the final score. C2 action in Lincoln, Brownell Talbot raiding Lincoln Lutheran's Abel Stadium. The Warriors entering the arena. Lutheran ball, Zach Clawson with a swing pass to Logan Kreisel. He makes a man miss and he's gone 50 yards for the score. Lutheran goes in front 31-14. BT quarterback Ryan Erishman trying to mount a comeback, fakes the end around. Joe Tunzler makes a great catch while being hit. But the Raiders take a hit. Lutheran wins this one 38-14. Back to Class A, Papillion La Vista and Lincoln Northeast. Second quarter, Papio leads 14-7. Quarterback Tyler Obermeyer. Pass is tipped and intercepted by Jacob Saban. North Star comes up em empty, rather, on the possession. Next Papio drive, Jerome Barnes takes the handoff. He's gone. 21-7, Monarchs at the half. They go on to win 55-20. That's another week in the books. The Huskers take on the Hoosiers at Indiana at 2.30 this afternoon. Tune in to WOWT 6 News, 10 at 10 for the highlights and post-game coverage. Have a great weekend, everybody.
Thanks, Ross. Well, we still have about 30 minutes ahead of us this Saturday morning. Coming up next, we continue our coverage on local breaking news from overnight after two people were sent to the hospital with gunshot wounds. Plus, an update on the man sent to the hospital after being shot at 90th and Maple Friday night. Basement that's constantly wet, damp, and unusable? Call Ramjack today and restore your basement back to dry, healthy space. Ramjack provides affordable and permanent waterproofing solutions. Call for your free on site evaluation today. Find low prices five minutes south of I-80. See the Bellevue Auto Dealers. Baxter Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Bellevue. Woodhouse Nissan. Todd Archer Hyundai. Corwin Toyota Scion of Bellevue. Edwards Mitsubishi. Honda Cars of Bellevue. Beardmore Chevrolet. Beardmore Subaru. Kennedy Freeway Chandler Road Exit in Fort Crook Road, Bellevue. Choice. Our windows start at 179 Install. Call us today for a free estimate. America's Best Choice Windows. Best window. Best price. Best choice. Ashford loves to talk about being bipartisan, but like a typical politician, he's hiding the truth. Ashford's heading up Hillary's campaign in Nebraska. In Washington, he votes with liberal Nancy Pelosi nearly 80% of the time. He voted with Pelosi to release terrorists from Gitmo three times. Pretty partisan. Brad Ashford says he's with us, but Clinton and Pelosi know he's with them. The NRCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Looking for a business-friendly bank? At Charter West Bank, we provide the good old-fashioned attentive banking you're looking for. Experience our pro-business attitude. You'll be glad you did. Charter West Bank, the power of the eagle. How can you cut a perfect four-ounce portion of liquid gold Velveeta without even touching a knife? Ta-da. With new Velveeta Mini Blocks, you've got four ounces of individually wrapped liquid gold. It's not surprising that new Velveeta Mini Blocks can easily make this. But maybe it's surprising they could also make this. And this. And this. And this. With new Velveeta Mini Blocks, you've got endless melty gold. Do you have a basement that's constantly wet, damp, and unusable? Call Ramjack today and restore your basement back to dry, healthy space. Ramjack provides affordable and permanent waterproofing solutions. Call for your free on-site evaluation today. From your home for news, this is WOWT 6 News Daybreak Weekend. Back. It's Saturday, October 15th. I'm Bradley Showright in for Josh Spreider, who has the weekend off. Alongside me this morning is Chief Meteorologist Rusty Lord, also joining in on the weekend. Yeah. Usually an evening guy, but <laughs> weekend morning. Welcome back to the mornings. Mornings are early. Yeah. <laughs> we have some clouds to deal with today, a lot like yesterday. It's going to be tough to shake those, and unfortunately, it's going to keep our temperatures from moving too much. If we could get these out of here, we would climb well through the 70s very quickly today, but clouds are going to limit things. We're in the 60s now in most locations. Actually been warming up overnight, so low six or upper 60s through about noon. We'll get into the low 70s, just struggling to warm today. Clouds and perhaps a little drizzle as well. Bradley? Thank you, Rusty. Well, our top story this morning, we are following local breaking news from overnight after two people were shot at 2 a.m at 76th and Crown Point this morning. One victim was shot in the arm, the other in the leg. Both were taken to the hospital with what we're told are non-life-threatening injuries. We're also told that one of the victims may be a security guard who is working an event nearby. Authorities are still working to find a suspect this morning. We will, of course, continue to follow this story as it develops. Also new from overnight, a man shot outside of an Omaha bank Friday evening remains in stable condition and the suspect still on the loose as well. That victim, who has not been positively identified, was shot in the parking lot of North 90th and Maple Streets by the American National Bank just before 6 p.m. Friday night. The shooting, however, was not related to the bank itself. Anyone with information about that shooting is asked to call Omaha Crime Stoppers at 444-STOP. Growing reports of mass shootings has not been lost on Nebraska Medicine, who held a drill to prepare for such a possibility. It's Hundreds of doctors, patients, nurses, uh, and right staff the gathered inside the Doubletree Hotel. On the screens were scenarios showcasing the real-life struggles that could one day be on their doorstep, citing the 2007 Von Mar shooting that left nine people dead. Trauma Program Coordinator Ashley Emanuel says Nebraskans need to be prepared as we're not isolated here and we're not alone as well in Omaha. 
Everyone still seems to be talking about the big country surprise at Field Club Elementary after hearing students were unable to attend his concert. Country superstar Brad Paisley surprised students and staff with their own private concert. Paisley called it his first ever country nation grade school tour. Well, if you think that you're a diehard Husker fan, just wait until you meet the Baez family. Now the Baez and a few other friends make a trip up with the children of the corn every year and pack into a bus, hit the road and head out to one of Nebraska's away games. It all started with their immediate family, but has since grown over the course of six years. Get this, there's now 56 members of their group making the trip this weekend to Indiana. This is our sixth annual. We started this when, uh, when we joined the Big Ten. And uh, last year we went down to Minnesota. We were two and four, so we're a little excited about going down five and zero oh this year. Are they a rowdy bunch of folks? No comment. <laughs> they have fun. <laughs> Now the Baez family tells us that there will be about 80 people total at their tailgate. They have about 20 to 30 people driving themselves as well. Kickoff of the game is at 2.30. It will be televised on ABC and ESPN2. While pulling weeds, trash pickup, and serving lunch for assisted living residents may not be a normal fall break schedule, but that's exactly what hundreds of UNO volunteers are doing this morning. Our Chase, Chase Moffitt joins us now live with more. He's got his audio up and working. Good morning, Chase. How's it going out there? <laughs> Good morning, Josh. Yeah, we finally got all of our technology working. We're here at UNO on campus for the three days of service, the 12th year they're doing this over fall break, taking advantage to help out in the community. Joining me now is Harnor Project Coordinator with this. Good morning. Good morning, Chase. Yeah, tell me about today and the opportunity for yeah. UNO students. Well, so today is our three days of service, and so it'll be Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday, and it's an opportunity for students to give back to their community. Most of our students are from Omaha, but even those that aren't from Omaha, that are students here, have a real purpose to want to give back to their hometown here. So they are going to be going to Florence Community Garden to revitalize that garden. They'll go to Lawrence and Gardens and help to get their indoor and outdoor gardens together, but then also do park cleanup here at Elmwood and Memorial Park. Wow. Yeah. Seeing them giving back over this break, what does that mean for you and your staff? Well, it's huge because, you know, for us, it doesn't take much for us to recruit students. They come to us and say, hey, I'm going to be around for three days. How can I help? What can I do to give back? And for most of the students, it's a real purpose because they feel like they want their community to know how much they care. So some of these projects, are they, would they be able to go, take place uh, without the help today? So obviously you're having a big impact? Yeah, I think so. You know, so for some of these uh, nonprofits that we're working with, they're so short-staffed that it really helps to get a lot of students together to work on some of these big projects. So at Florence Community Garden, they need to get this entire garden ready for winter. And so we'll have 30 students that are just working on it from about 9 o'clock to 2.30 this afternoon. If you missed today, can you still join Monday, Tuesday? Yeah, absolutely. So we don't ask students to sign up for all three days. They can sign up for just one day. They can sign up for two or all three. So you'll see a lot of students coming either today. We'll have about 200 students. We'll have some coming on Monday and then again coming on Tuesday. So they'll spend their entire break just giving back to their community. That's incredible. It's cool. Probably feels good to be a part of that. Oh, it's great. It's incredible. You know, the lifeblood of this university are our students, and they're really showing how much they're worth right now. Thank you so much, Harnor. I appreciate great. your time. Absolutely. Yeah, a project coordinator working with three days of service here at UNO on campus. It's the 12th year taking part in these activities to get out in the community and make a big impact. We'll have much more coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. Thanks, Chase. Chase Moffitt uh, reporting live press this morning. Well, as you know, it is Saturday morning, and that means it's time for our viewers to react to some of the biggest headlines of the week. Cerise Cole has your comments in our Six Online report. Early voting began in Nebraska this week, and so did public hearings about the death penalty. Voters will decide whether to repeal or retain it. Brad believes the death penalty is far too costly and is ineffective as a preventative measure. And given that it takes an average of 14 years to put someone to death, it's a horrible way to get justice. Billy fears innocent people would be murdered. There have been too many people exonerated by DNA, but this viewer says if they're guilty of murder, Put them to death. Their victims aren't alive. Why should they be? Well, some pesky invaders are making a mess of some metro lawns. Alexa says it's also annoying having to go out and clean the trash they get into. But Jalen says we've actually made our home where they live. So we have to learn to live with these creatures because it's their habitat too. That is our Six Online report this week. I'm Cerise Cole.
Thanks, Therese. Well, still ahead in this live broadcast, it's a historic Saturday morning as the U.S. and some 150 other nations have reached a global deal to limit powerful greenhouse gases. We'll have the full details in our look around the world coming up next. We're parked under clouds yet again this morning, and they are going to be very tough to get rid of during the day. I'll let you know what that means for the temperatures and if we can see anything fall from those clouds coming up after the break. This is WWT 6 News, Daybreak Weekend. and Donald Trump head-to-head -head in the fight for America's highest office. WOWT 6 News has you covered with the latest, where the candidates stand and how it affects you tackling the big issues in this historic election. From the debates to the polls, and finally, when America casts their vote, WOWT 6 News, your home for Decision 2016. Does your home or business have storm damage? McGinnis Roofing works directly with you and your insurance company to get the repairs done right using high quality materials and professional installation. Call the experts McGinnis Roofing for your free storm damage inspection. Get huge savings and incredible deals now during Ram Power Days at Baxter Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram with three metro locations, Bellevue, La Vista, and West Dodge. Get 20% off MSRP on a new 2016 Ram 1500 Crew Cab Bighorn 4x4 or lease for only $2.99 a month. Drive a new 2016 Cherokee Latitude, lease for only $2.39 a month. Save now at Baxter Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. One in seven men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. Shouldn't you invest in your health so you can be there for them? First Scan is a non-invasive MRI for prostate cancer screening with 90% accuracy. First Scan is the easier choice for early and accurate detection. For more information, visit firstscanomaha.com and talk with your doctor about MRI testing. First Scan, 20 minutes that could save your life. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. She's a slob. She ate like a pig. A person who's flat-chested is very hard to be a 10. Does she have a good body? No. Does she have a fat <laughs> Absolutely. So you treat women with respect? Uh, I can't say that either. All right. Does your home or business have storm damage? McGinnis Roofing works directly with you and your insurance company to get the repairs done right using high quality materials and professional installation. Call the experts McGinnis Roofing for your free storm damage inspection. And welcome back this Saturday morning, taking a look outside at Midtown from our camera at First National Bank. Another gray day on this October Saturday. We'll hear more about the weather here in just a moment, but first, it's time to check out another two things happening locally today. The Omaha Storm Chasers will be holding national anthem tryouts for the 2017 season on the Werner Park field. Over 100 ensembles and individuals have registered to audition this morning. Auditions are from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Those auditioning are asked to enter through Storm Front Team Store at gate number one. Plus, the public is invited to the Bemis Center for Contemporary Arts today from 11 to 5 for a day of creativity and fun for the whole family. Here, current artists and residents talk about their artistic practices and participate in a hands-on family art workshop with Y Arts. Remember, you can always find out what's coming up today by heading over to our website at the WOWT Community Calendar. We've got more things for you to do coming up at 8.55. Now let's get a look at our forecast from Chief Meteorologist Rusty Lord. Rusty, like I said, another gray day today. Yeah, kind of parked into the clouds. A possibility we see a little mist, maybe some drizzle, but it's the last weekend of the farmer's market. Right now there's nothing showing up on the radar, so if you want to head out there, head downtown, snag a few things before they close up shop for the season. Not too bad a weather. We've warmed up overnight. 68 degrees, south wind 10 miles per hour with the clouds around. Uh, don't look like they're very thick, but they are basically just a blanket of gray, low and mid-level clouds, and they're going to be parked over us for the vast majority of the day today. Like I said, you zoom in a little closer, Elkhorn, Gretna, Omaha, Papillion, 
for the most part, just the clouds. Uh, could see a little bit of patchy drizzle from these, but not at the moment. 68 in Omaha, 67 in Plattsmouth, 68 Red Oak and Shenandoah, and 68 in Lincoln. Those are the warm spots, otherwise everyone else cooler than that. Uh, visibility, again, not much of an issue. Norfolk has been dropping here over the, the past 45 minutes. So about seven miles of visibility there. 10 is normal, and we could see those drop and, and well, waver a little bit here over the next several hours. Winds out of the south at 5 to 15 miles per hour. So there's the clouds. You see these little specks of green on the map just kind of dancing around. That tells me that there's going to be some mist, some drizzle try to form as we make our way through the morning, especially out ahead of this cold front that's trying to move in. Well, it's not going to move completely through. So clouds, stubborn, very pesky, tough to get rid of, patchy drizzle today, and numbers that don't move a lot. Near 70 degrees by 3 o'clock, we likely make it in the low 70s. Get a few late day breaks in the clouds late afternoon as, these, as this cold front again comes close, doesn't move through completely. So moisture just kind of pools out ahead of it as we're in the 60s all the way through 9, 10 o'clock. And well, we'll fall back into the upper 50s. Could see some patchy fog heading towards tomorrow morning. But the difference in the weekend days will be the fact that we'll actually break through the clouds a little easier on Sunday and go to 79. If we could get rid of some of these clouds today, we'd likely climb into the upper 70s today as well. Monday, 83 for the high, 72 on Tuesday. Another rain chance Wednesday, but again, that's not much to worry about. So farmers, yeah, there's your seven to 10 days of dry weather that you can get in the field and get crops out. Otherwise, it's just going to be a very dry as we head through well, the next 10 days of October. You can download our app and have all that info whenever you need it. It's there and you can have it on your phone. Seven day forecast, interactive radar, all right there whenever you need it. And 83 on Monday, not a bad way to start the week. That's pretty warm. Considering yeah. we should be in the mid-60s this time of year, 83 is air conditioner weather. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely <laughs> is. Well, it's time now for our first birthdays. First up today, we have Aiden Schneider. His parents are Chaley and Jay. Aiden loves shopping, eating, and cuddling with his little Nemo. Shop? Who doesn't? <laughs> shopping already. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday to Wesley Miller. His parents are Tom and Michelle. Wesley loves to climb and gracefully fall. He likes mashed potatoes and harassing his older brother. Be careful. Yeah, many of us do. Well, if you've got an upcoming first birthday, please tell us about it. All you have to do is log on to WOWT.com slash first birthdays to upload your photo and tell us about your soon-to-be one-year-old. As always, you can find that link by clicking the news drop-down menu on our home page. From there, select first birthdays, follow the instructions, and remember, we need to have those about a week in advance. Very good. Well, still coming up, Who's filling in for Billy Bush on the Today Show this week? Plus, Haiti is still reeling from the effects of Hurricane Matthew. We've got details on aid still arriving to the country this morning. This is WOWT 6 News Daybreak Weekend. You at the Honda Giant, Honda Cars of Bellevue. And during the final days of the model year end sales event, drive a new CRV 269 a month with zero down. This top safety pick comes with Bluetooth, backup camera, and more. Zero down and only 269 a month. When you want it all, get it all at the Honda Giant, Honda Cars of Bellevue. One small step off Kennedy Freeway, one giant Honda saving store. She placed her hand on the Bible, swore to defend against all enemies, promised to tell the truth, and lied about her finances, lied about sniper fire in Bosnia, lied about Benghazi, lied about the Clinton Foundation, lied about her private server, lied about her emails. So when Hillary Clinton says she will preserve, protect, and defend the United States, why would we believe her? I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. Goodwill Halloween, we're ready for you. You've worked hard, paid into Social Security every paycheck. You're ready for retirement. But Don Bacon thinks you should keep working. He wants to raise the retirement age, cutting Social Security. Bacon would even cut Medicare costing seniors up to 1,500 more on prescriptions each year. 
Don Bacon's just not for you. House Majority Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. You know, you paid too much for those glasses. Who? Oh. You. They charged you too much. Who? Practically everyone. Unless, of course, you shopped at America's Best. Who? Oh? America's Best. Or two pairs of glasses and a free eye exam are just $69.95. Ooh. Yep, that's America's Best. Who? Please, just keep up. Two pairs and a free exam for $69.95. It's not just a better deal. It's America's Best. Shop from our giant selection of new Hondas or pre-owned vehicles at HondaCarsAbellie.com. Welcome back. Well, in national and international news this morning, the U.S. and some 150 other nations have reached a global deal to limit powerful greenhouse gases. The agreement reached in the East African nation of Rwanda today is being hailed as historic. Environmental groups said the deal limits the use of greenhouse gases known as HFCs that are far more powerful than carbon dioxide in their impact on climate change. Now, scientists have said an agreement could put a half degree Celsius dent in global warming by the end of the century. NBC's Today Show looks to be setting stage for life without Billy Bush. Singer and actor Harry Connick Jr. announced Friday that he'll be co-hosting the third hour of today, Monday and Tuesday. That role was held by Bush, who's now off the air for his participation in a 2005 tape where Donald Trump made lewd remarks about women. Bush is now reportedly in separation talks with NBC. Connick currently hosts his own daytime talk show called Harry, which premiered last month. Carson Daly replaced Bush as today's third hour host this week. In world news this morning, good news for American tourists going to Cuba. The Obama administration is doing away with the $100 limit on the value of rum and cigars that American travelers can carry home. Most tourists will be able to bring back up to 100 cigars and several bottles of rum, which could raise hundreds of millions of dollars a year in revenue for the Cuban government. Now more aid is still on its way to victims of Hurricane Matthew in Haiti. Haiti's southwestern peninsula was one of the areas hit hardest by the hurricane last week. We are being told that food, clean water and construction materials began making their way into the area yesterday. As local residents watched U.S. soldiers unload bottles of water and boxes of food aid from a helicopter. Finally, take a look at this dramatic video as a diver had a very close encounter with a great white shark off the coast of Mexico. In a video that has since gone viral, the shark leaped out of the water to eat a chunk of tuna bait, but it hit the side of the shark cage, protecting the diver, then breaking through the bars. The experienced diver thankfully was able to duck out the bottom and did emerge unhurt as the shark thrashed its way out. Very scary video, can't even imagine. Well, still ahead this Saturday morning, a final check of our hour by hour forecast, but first in two minutes, Greg Wagner and the Outdoor Report. You're watching Six News Daybreak Weekend. He has not changed a bit. He still coupons the heck out of his shopping. He still mows his own lawn. He still changes his own oil. Mike knocks on thousands of doors each year to listen and to check in. He's still taking on sex abuse. He's still helping veterans like me. He's still fighting for more job training. Well, he's fighting for our schools to get their fair share. That Mike Gronstall, he hasn't changed a bit. Still fighting for regular folks just like us, right here in Council Bluffs in Carter Lake. Always have and always will. Yeah! I love to run, but I can't walk a straight line. It's because of my brain. It's been damaged. My previous owner left me unconscious. I still don't know what I did to make her so angry that night. Amazing people found me and gently nursed me back to health. They gave me my second chance. I once overheard a child ask if I'd walk straight again when I got to heaven. Maybe. But right now, I'm enjoying my little piece of heaven on earth. Want to remodel your kitchen or bath without any demolition? We do. That's why we love granite transformations. It's the fastest way to create a new look. From countertops to backsplashes. To beautiful bathrooms. With all the latest styles from quartz to glass mosaics. And our new diamond collection. The best part, there's no demolition. And they do it all from design to installation. So relax. Hey, okay. <laughs> the Diamond Collection by Tarek and Christina, only at Granite Transformations.
Experience the thrill of the Lexus Performance Line. Because the ultimate expression of power is control. Lexus Plus is the dealership experience redefined. And you'll find that experience at Lexus of Omaha and Lexus of Lincoln. Now, the Outdoor Report, sponsored by Shields. Hey there, I'm Greg Wagner with Cayman Parks, and this is your weekly Outdoor Report. We're talking trout right now. Thank you, Rusty Lord. Rusty's never caught a trout. There he goes. He's caught one right now. Yes, you have. But we've got to talk trout on this Husker Saturday because they're swimming around, folks. Let's take a look at the video. Already, we have Benson Park Laguna, Northwest Omaha, that has trout. We also have Fremont State Lake number two that has trout and two Lincoln Lakes, Home Lake and Bowling Lake. And then on Monday, we'll have Lake Halleck and Papillion get trout in Mahoney State Park. And then Tuesday at Standing Bear Lake, Northwest Omaha, they will get these beautiful 10 inch rainbow trout. Take the kids and grandkids out to try to catch them. Basic equipment, light tackle, small things, you know, small bobbers, small hooks, small weights and such. And Berkeley's trout baits are the way to go. These are coming from a hatchery type setting and fish off the bank, just uh, up off the bottom a little bit and the trout school around, cruise around and I think you will catch a couple. I know you will. Get more information on area trout stockings right there. Game and Parks website, OutdoorNebraska.org. And back here in the outdoor setting, Rusty Lord again. I've caught my trout and you've got another one. There you go. That, that's your limit. You're done. There you go. All in good fun. Have a great Saturday, everybody, and we'll see you in the great outdoors. Thanks, Greg. Well, before we get to our last two things happening locally this morning, we do want to give you an update really quickly. You can have head over to our website for more on this. Right now, we are getting word that the two suspects in the shooting this morning from overnight, happening overnight rather, that sent two to the hospital have been caught. Again, you can find more updates to that story on our website at WOWT.com. Well, finally, our two things happening today, bringing us to six things happening as we do every Saturday and Sunday morning. Singer and songwriter B.J. Barham will be performing at the Reverb Lounge in Omaha tonight. B.J. Barham's debut solo album, Rockingham, released on August 19th, is garnering critical acclaim for its lyrics and small town narratives. That show starts at 9 p.m. Tickets are $17. Finally, the Sokol Park and Hullabaloo Music Group are presenting a haunted drive-in movie night. They will be screening the Halloween Disney classic Hocus Pocus. Tickets range from $7 to $20, all depending on how many people are in the car with you. Gates will open up at 7 and the show will start at 9. Definitely want to get there early. Remember, as always, you can find out what's coming up today by going to our website at WOWT.com clicking on the community calendar. Rusty, you caught that trout. Caught the trout, still here. Still so here. Apparently I've <laughs> caught my limit, so we'll <laughs> throw that one back. Let's take a look at the forecast. 71 degrees for the high today, about 79 on Sunday. We'll try to break through the clouds. It's late this afternoon though. Otherwise stubborn clouds and patchy drizzle expected today, much better tomorrow and much warmer with highs in the upper 70s. All right, very good. Thank you, Rusty. Well, that wraps up our local newscast this Saturday morning. We're back here again tomorrow. Our next newscast tonight, live at five. WOWT 6 News is everywhere. Watch every newscast streamed live on our website and mobile app. A good meal is about more than just how it tastes. It's about how it makes you feel. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. Brad Ashford loves to talk about being bipartisan, but like a typical politician, he's hiding the truth. Ashford's heading up Hillary's campaign in Nebraska. In Washington, he votes with liberal Nancy Pelosi nearly 80% of the time. He voted with Pelosi to release terrorists from Gitmo three times. Pretty partisan. Brad Ashford says he's with us, but Clinton and Pelosi know he's with them. The NRCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Come into Village Inn and enjoy a meal that beams with goodness. Try our new hearty hashes, including chicken bacon avocado, steak tip, and corned beef. There's only one place to get them at Village Inn. Keep on the sunny side of life. We have late breaking news. New details in this morning. Here's what's new since 5. Let's get the latest.
Thank you very much, Nebraska. Invest in a lot. Thank you, Omaha. Our D.C. Bureau has the latest from the Capitol. We are. We are. We are WWT 6 News. We just had breaking news come in. I've got a job to do today. I've got a job to do today. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start fresh, right? Sure does. And like that, you're a job creator.